In this tutorial, we will talk about customizing the Ubuntu GNOME desktop by creating new panels, moving panels, moving uh, applets and other icons in the panels, and further refining the desktop environment. Now, the default GNOME desktop with Ubuntu comes with two panels, this upper panel and the lower panel. Now, the panels can be modified. Right-clicking on the panel itself allows one to add to the panel certain applets or shortcuts, allows one to change the properties of the panel. For example, one can select the orientation of this particular panel on the bottom, or if we want to move it to, say, the left-hand side, the panel will be moved over to the left-hand side. One can change the size in pixels, whether to expand the panel to the width or to decompress the panel to only the size necessary to show everything, and whether to auto-hide the buttons, auto-hide the, the panel, that is, and whether to show the hide buttons. Let's move this panel back on the bottom to, to take a look at this effect. Auto-hiding the panel, as you can see, hides the panel. One can barely see it at the very bottom. One then goes down and hovers over the panel, it reappears. The hide buttons are two buttons available at the left and right that can be used to hide the panel to the left or to the right to expand or contract the panel. So unselecting the auto hide and unselecting the show hide buttons brings the panel back to its default state. One can also customize the background of the panel. No background simply uses the system theme that comes with whatever theme is being used. One can, of course, change the color of the background or make it even transparent or opaque. As you can see, changing the transparency changes the transparency of the panel. Making it all the way transparent effectively makes it invisible. A little bit of transparency gives just a hint of something there. One can also select a background image for a panel. Additionally, one can create new panels. As you can see, this new panel was added over here to the right-hand side. And with this new panel, one gets the same options. Now, adding to panel allows one to create new shortcuts or applets in the panel. For example, if one wanted to add the weather applet, that can be selected. Various icons to do things, such as show the desktop, the trash, various system monitors and things like that are available. The system monitor applet shows sort of the load, the CPU usage, and things like that. As you can see, I just added it to this new panel over here on the right. Right-clicking on this system monitor applet allows one to change the preferences of what's, of what's shown. If we want to see the network connection, we can add that, and as you can see, a new box is, is uh, provided there. And, of course, right-clicking on the applets themselves allows one to move them up and down or even over to another panel by grabbing it and moving it over. This panel can then be deleted, and the icons themselves can also be moved if they're not locked to the panel. As you can see, some of these icons have locked to panel selected, uh, making, making it slightly more difficult to move them accidentally. And that's how these panels and applets can be customized, and that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much.